Hey, COD Zombies maps in a nutshell by Chrism. I think this is the gaming play. And then we're doing Horizon Zero Dawn. Nerds with the five gifters. Who even is this guy? They're all crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get Try that something voice. that I've never done before. Shout out to no Chrism chat. Really He's my only content, boys. Drake's in the chat for this guy, dude. What would I, I do without I Chrism? Gone through Literally, what would I do without this guy? Always a I don't know. Whether that was ranking them, or roasting them, or complimenting them. I've pretty much done it all. That is everything. I mean, I've done it all Sitting too. down and having a nice, simple conversation about every single Call of Duty Zombies map. So today, we're going to do just I mean, that. Yeah. I have a feeling that this is going to be a bit I think these types of videos are always want warranted just because of the fact that like your opinions change over time chat so that's why i'm like dude the best zombies map i love of these types of videos this video is sponsored Kino by my twitter Black you should go and follow it twitter gameplay chat follow Call twitter boys map was twitter Twitter is a mistake Noct has a feel to it that's pretty much unlike any zombies map that would come later it is Shout extremely to small and bare bones there's not much to it from the very moment you spawn in you essentially get the gist of the map you're stuck in this broken <laughs> abandoned building Chuck, when was the last time you played world at war nocturne and Toten? genuinely I literally can't even remember. It's like, dude, World at War, Nocturne Toten. With zombies collapsing in. Never. The best way to play Nocturne, it's been in my opinion, so is long. to play it like the way the mode Jeez. was invented for. I feel like zombies wasn't designed to be this That's game like, where I can't movement even remember how was the one central like thing that keeps you safe from zombies. The game wasn't really developed for training to even be a thing. So the best way to play Noct is to play it with just the central idea of kill or be killed. The zombies spawn in the area around it's the It's the most building. Generic and it's your job ever. to kill them before they can get to you. Obviously, you have things like knocked or D machine to try to make that process last. If you were to pick one to play, which you one would you pick? in with just about mm. the weakest gun imaginable in the M1911. Probably in the near vicinity dude. are some very just cheap weapons, map though, of all you know, slightly improved. That's why I like it. Just it's However, they're some of the weakest guns in zombies history, and they're only meant to get you through the D machine has better guns. As you progress fun. through the map, and there's not much of a progression. Chad, I miss Cold War. I gotta go back and play. You'll some find maybe. some better wall weapons. One of my like favorite. The Tommy one of my more the favorite bar, that are actually some sure. of the better weapons on this map. Of course, there's the mystery box with some incredible weapons in it. All of the weapons in World of War are obviously I mean, World fitting. War II style. If he guns, assaults with Ruck, that one would be sad. notable I don't think exception, the ray gun. Now, the term Wonder Weapon obviously hadn't been coined at this tater. point. And let's be honest, most people didn't even call the ray gun the ray gun. People called it things like the laser gun or the zap gun that's or true that's even true heard it called the the OG, OG but it's pretty much yeah. universally accepted that the ray gun whatever you call it was probably the best way to get you through the early rounds yes. eventually I though mean, the spinning. zombies would break the their gun. way into the building and at that point you were essentially doomed for Chat, how does the vanguard ray gun feel is it bad I don't even know. I haven't even There's played nothing the on Doctor and Toten to make the game any easier. I'm sure you bad. can acquire some slightly better weaponry as you progress bad? through the map, oh, but that's pretty no. much it. Does There's it no even perks. One tap? We're still Yikes. years away from something like Yikes. a zombie shield. There's no traps. It's literally just you and a gun. What if he talks about Terra Maledicta? And eventually, video, those zombies are gonna <laughs> break their way into Doctor and Toten and lead to your inevitable death. That the next so zombies map. Okay, to be here we go. Verruck. Although there were some additions that made Verruck a little bit easier it Played was a little bit more player friendly in the sense that there was a power switch and that power switch once you actually opened up the entire map and got to it enabled you to have these four perks and access to traps i mean yeah now, these are the, the four fire, classic man. perks and everybody it. knows them just by looking at them even people that don't play call of duty zombies can probably instantly the identify what the time. juggernaug machine is the two Keen perks in the spawn area of iraq one being quick revive which its only purpose at the time <laughs> was just that to revive by people quicker and the other one being juggernaug of course giving you the ability to take more hits without going down Chat, the two other or perks, double tap i always say would make your weapon i hate more regular double tap knock, obviously to be honest, increasing the fire rate and speed is cola, so much more increasing fun. your reload speed Even though however despite all of these sucks. additions Poo -poo. it's pretty understood that Poo -poo's Poo -poo's is a lot tap. harder of a map than knock and why is that on. well for one there's no good area to actually play the game pretty much anywhere you stand you're really 
really close to a You're barrier. Effed. This leads to the feeling yeah. that despite Varok being a lot bigger than Nocturne and Toten, it feels a lot more claustrophobic. Lot more There's smaller, essentially nowhere dude, yeah. to run, which makes Varok one of the hardest, if not the hardest, early zombies. We love Varok. It's though. impossible to Fire talk man. about Varok without mentioning the atmosphere. Varok takes place in an insane asylum, and you can feel that while you're playing it's the map. It's probably the Little best thing that will remind map you of exactly where you are Warren. while you're walking around the map. It's eerie. You can hear so screams. Fun, it's honestly one of the most terrifying zombies One Zombies Chronicles 3, in boys? the Call of Duty franchise. The know, next boys. map in this series was the first the zombie goat. map that didn't take place in the Germany. The best World this of War map. Shinonuma, obviously because you can get to round we bajillion, boys. Four round 10,000. Nikolai, Easy. Dempsey, and Takio. Each with their own unique personality. The map takes place in a swamp with a central area that you spawn in and essentially four areas spouting out from there. Each with a building at the very end of it. I know, the zombie animations in this map are so funny. Perks. The perks being them. the exact they just same look from so Barack. dumb. However, when you open the door to each individual building, a different perk will spawn. I love that they it's were unique random. too. Because As in for like additions BO4, to zombies, the zombies here, have we the actually same have a new weapon for the first sure. time. This being the first real wonder weapon that isn't the ray gun. This is an electric gun that when you shoot it at a zombie, it essentially spreads to other ones, giving Shots you the off. potential to kill massive hordes with a single shot. Does Another innovation of Shinonuma is that we have our but first But why does this look better than Duran In the form of the hell hell. To break the monotony of I mean, zombie rounds, this, now we have dog rounds, One of the which are essentially horrifying creatures that sprint at you at full speed. Way. However, at the end of a hell hell round, you get a guaranteed max ammo, so Absolutely it makes disgusting. it all worth it. One thing notable here is that the health system on Shinonuma is very different to the other World of War maps. I'm not which sure why so they changed strange. the health system here, the but whole you can take a bunch of hits with Jug and not go down, yeah. whereas other oh, times no, that's you on can Barack. down very quickly with that's Jug. On it, it works very strange. A lot of things about Shinonuma are very strange. There's a ton of little glitches, run, some of run, which bro. help the player out and some of which hurt the player. Another notable thing about Shinonuma is the highest round in Zombies history was actually achieved on the World of War version of Shinonuma, That's which would boy. not have been Chat, I wonder who it was. Insta -kill round who did glitch. it, dude? Our final World of War map was, was Doris. What most people classify as being the Chat, what's the best version of Doris? I like the giant the best on BL3. Peak of World at War Zombie. I don't like the World layout of Doris is but it's similar so much to fun Shinonuma in co-op. In co-op, it's the best. There's a central area in that you spawn in, and this time there are the three areas that time. spout out from it. Each you of the three areas has a teleporter that actually teleports you back into spawn. Once you've activated all three teleporters, the you open map, up man. the Pack-a-Punch machine. The Pack-a-Punch machine Ain't is the crowning feature of Doris. This lets you upgrade your guns, giving them more firepower, letting you go to higher rounds, and makes the zombie experience declassified so custom map i mean you do in the early spinning. days there was that is really the best for one. how to play the map You're right the first being to actually use your movement to actually train the zombies basically running them around in circles while occasionally shooting them this method in theory would essentially keep you safe yeah this is where of time. Time. Started, the other strategy right? is what i would say most it wasn't really you pack a punch to gun or two and you went up and sat on the catwalk with a friend and you just wanted to see how high of a round you can get to doing something like this goes back to what I was talking about earlier with Noct. Chad, the best zombies map of all time is going to be next, until boys. eventually you can't Who's kill excited? them fast enough before they actually Oh, I'm get so excited. You. There is an expiration date on how long you can camp Oh, I zombie. can't believe no it. No matter how good you are, no matter how fast your reaction time is, no matter how good your aim is, eventually those zombies were going to come in on you. Doris was home to the first little Easter egg in the fly trap Easter egg. This little Easter egg was a massive hint Dude, to where Treyarch wanted to take love them the future. Fly they trap wanted Easter the zombies egg, mode to be more they than just the about fly trap zombies. Easter egg. They oh, wanted to hide these really little Easter eggs did. in the map for those who had a keen love eye for looking it, for them. I would say the World of War as a whole kind of showed that Treyarch could make could a very captivating third mode. And me. that people loved it. People wanted more. And they demanded more. A little over a year passed. Here and it is, baby. Treyarch announced that Best they would all time, baby. back zombies. My first zombies map. Black Ops 1 tried to expand upon the original. Sir. formula of World That's of War right by there. kind of smoothing out the edges Fire and making sale. it an overall Lucky better mess. experience. Like, there was a lot less glitches in Black Ops 1 than there was World of War. And overall, the TV game just spitting. felt a lot less buggy. Black Ops 1 released with two maps, the first of which was Kino Der Toten, the iconic theater map, which Best for a lot of people, when you map. think of Call of Duty Zombies, your first thought is Kino Der Toten. Kino basically took which everything is really that was great about World of War Zombies a great point and ported of 
why you could argue it's the best zombies map of all time. If I had to guess, I would say that Keener Der Toten is the first zombies map played by the most amount of people. I the agree. The release of Black Ops 1 saw the zombies that. mode yes. having I more agree. eyes on it than yes, ever sir. before. People That's talked so about factual. it a lot. It was no longer viewed as this distant side mode that was just kind of like, oh, it's a cool little thing that they're doing. But now for a lot of people, it was the main focus. It was the main reason why people were buying That's why I'm Z. so shocked Kino has only been remastered once. Five. A map set in the Pentagon That's with four very iconic that. characters. I would say five people is very memorable. Kino, some they've done not so many more that. times. Some you know? people view it the as the map other map. Time. It was the other on disc map. Shout out that, to five. You, know, you played a chat for five. It was always a little bit too. We love hard, my homie five. People annoying. forget about so this. So you just kind of let it exist. We love and five. Mainly only. Five I wish I was better at this map. While others actually took a preference to the map five, it was the more challenging little brother of the iconic Kino Dirt. Yes, sir. The map yes, sir, introduced yes, sir, the yes, first non-zombie type that wasn't a hellhound. Of course, in the form of the Pentagon Thief. Was the Pentagon Thief necessarily loved by everyone? I mean, not necessarily. No, baby, People don't like having their guns still taken love away, But there is a good risk to reward I mean, he's to the Pentagon easier Thief. Than the love him or hate him, like... he was at least something. They were clearly trying to expand upon the mode. Well, for Treyarch, Shout Kino was five. the safer bet. Don't like, I feel like when they released Black Ops 1, they knew they had a gem with Kino Der Toten. They knew it was the exact exact type of map that the community wanted but i guess they did at what what the game map of all which is why they made ascension he knows they're talking black ops they wanted to ascension. try different things do crazy over the top stuff like map in the pentagon why not random boss man that steals your gun i mean why not yes, try different sir, characters brother. that aren't the original four i mean sure we could try it because at the end of the day we know we have this safe map in our back pocket in the form of kino the first dlc of black ops one this is my boy dude i ascension. love ascension this was are you gonna say Ascension Aider trap. Don't say map. it. There wasn't a I whole love Ascension, lot bro. different between a map nothing like Ascension much I dislike. and Kino and, you know, the maps of Dude, old of World of War. Like, Ascension nothing much did, I dislike about the map, a lot of I don't things. Think. Like, there was, you know, Matryoshka dolls and I probably Gersh put in the most and, game you know, time course, into Ascension. Of up in PhD Flopper. Dude, look like, at that flick that he just did. idea of zombies what was that? and added onto it. Those Some of the choices they made were more favorable than others. Like, things like the monkeys were pretty despised. I like the VL3 version because you can get rid day. of the monkeys there is a risk to reward nukes. where you can actually earn more perks but if you manage to go in yeah i would play bl3 ascension any, over BL3. but overall it's just I an annoying concept and while BL3. you're playing ascension you're constantly like, is thinking in the back map, of your mind though. like oh i gotta be prepared for the next monkey around gotta ascension be prepared for those homies the gotta get them new gobble gun brother single most it's definitely up there not only do you have the thunder gun returning which i didn't mention earlier you have gersh devices you have the new perk Stamina up makes training even easier. PhD flopper is good to have in your back pocket. Yeah, There's just I'm a ton definitely of like chat. BL1 Ascension or BL3? Ascension's map I'm layout BL3, is dude. unbelievably easy. Ascension, definitely I would better. say, is not the most definitely optimally better, designed zombies map. There's huge, wide open out. areas that make it so, BL1? so easy to just Damn. run around in circles BL1 for hours on hours and hours. Like, literally Ooh, anybody can do like this. Something. I feel like Ascension was designed to be the stamina up map. They knew that they wanted people to just run around at full speed I mean, with their stamina kidding. up on and yeah. just train zombies. And it train was and the train first train, biggest which is fine. zombies map for until a few Call hours. Maybe dead. you go and play Ascension My three homie. or four times, but after a while, we it Call does get dead. a little bit boring. Ascension was perceived as being one of the great maps. As soon as it came out, people Ambient loved it. People so loved it for the next few yeah. years to come. So it's a little hard for me Ascension's to look back at a map that came out ten years ago at this point and criticize it for being too easy because the community was in a lot different i mean call of the dead is also just so the much average better, age of i think with bl1 they just younger made all the black maps ops so well than it is now it such the a great two dlc, DLC maps, maps in black ops one kind boy. of serve to contrast this ascension they were a lot more difficult yes. the first of which being call, call of the dead. dead now call of the dead took the zombies formula and i mean turned just look at the gameplay there's no trap there's no wonder weapon that kills to an infinite round a lot of the areas are a lot tighter and closer corridors you got George Romero Scavenger following you around at all voice. times to keep you from oh, camping in ass. one spot. The map was not easy, especially when compared to maps like Kino and Ascension. There was a new perk called Deadshot Daiquiri that pretty much made an appearance in like seemingly in chat, every which... zombies map. That's after. like the it only bad thing about Call of Duty. auto aim you Dead to the Shot zombies Daiquiri? head, except no unfortunately ball, this bro. doesn't work on you PC. And on the only real benefit time. of Deadshot Daiquiri for PC players is it does make your hip fire slightly better. All of that to say that Call of the Dead it did just absolutely nothing to make life any easy 
year fun. while playing. Call of the Dead. There's is a the new Rev World record. I gotta to check it out. That nobody I has ever realize. reached round 100 on. This is because there's a reset Solo. after a certain Solo. amount of time on Black Ops One, and so basically but, after a certain amount of time, your game yeah, automatically will reach restarts. Round 100 on and Call so it's Let's basically go, impossible, Jason, or at least That's to this day, it hasn't happened to actually get to round 100 before your game restarts. So it just goes to show that this was an entirely different type of zombie. We need the round 100 something like not Kino Deadshot. or Ascension. The next zombies map was no different in Shangri-La. Shang 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 Shang
simple to say the least. You basically I place don't, a turbine I don't play OG and then you run all the way to the town in hopes that the turbine doesn't break. Unfortunately, nine times out of ten, it just breaks. Like it just that. The quote unquote wonder weapon on this map is a build. I mean, this map is just very, not very fun annoying to build well. because you have to travel around this giant drunk, map, which as we've about. already established is unbelievably annoying. And when you actually get it, it breaks super easily. With all of that said, I think transit is one of the better maps to just chill back with your Let's friends go. and just kind of poke fun at it. Yes, transit sir. is so bad that it's good. In the same way that watching it's bad a really that it's good. I agree. can be fun, playing transit with your friends can be fun. That's you a great way of putting it. Each yep, individual exactly. part of transit, it's bad or not that it's necessarily good. all of them, but like three of them, in like a little fun survival map that honestly can be more fun than playing the actual map transit itself. A map like Town pretty much has I everything mean, yeah, from dude. the core you really don't zombies always formula. Play it has four perks and a pack transit. of punch. So if you just it's want to shoot some zombies, it's the like perfect now. way to go. Black Ops 2 also released with Nuketown, Boo. which was another survival map with four Boo. perks and a pack of punch. I the layout Nuketown. of Nuketown is One of my sort least of favorite questionable maps in my ever. mind, but it definitely I can be fun like for an hour or two so here or there. So it's been established that Black Ops 2 didn't Such launch L. great. The so reimagined versions are great too. In my mind, Dirise is even worse than Transit. Because while Transit was so bad that it's in transit a way, Dirise is just bad. It's I mean, very you get the boring, and man. considering how cool of a location it is in a Chinese I would take chat, Die Rise Rise or Transit. The map I'd is take Die very Rise, undersaturated and a transit little bland looking. Die Rise does feature one of the better Die Rise weapons is a in map. Zombies in the this Sliquifier. It blows zombies up by shooting purple goo at it that makes them slip around. It's a very I mean, cool a idea for a weapon. weapon. Unfortunately, though, the rest of the map is completely boring. People that defend Die Rise often use this straw man that, quote, people only hate it because they're bad at parkour or whatever. But Die Rise <laughs> is not a map Dude, about you just parkour. gotta hit your strafe you jump jumps. Across, Come like, on, chat. Is what you consider parkour, then Come I don't know on, what to fam. tell you. The main flaws just with Die Rise strafe, are honestly fam. similar to the ones of Transit. There's no reliable way to navigate around the map. You end up spending a lot of your time I, I like Rise, the idea of Die Rise. I just wish this, it was made better. There's just not much you know, to the do. Idea Going for cool. high rounds on Die Rise isn't a fun thing to do. Just playing the map casually isn't much better. The Easter egg isn't fun whatsoever. Personally, I feel like I'll just always view Die Rise as the worst of the worst as far as the wood zombies had to offer. Uh, so I like agree, I said, though. the first two such maps of Black Ops 2 weren't all that great, but Treyarch Bro, this gameplay is giving me anxiety. Really what am I map. watching? This would have been the first Jason Blundell directed This is my map. boy! Of course, Mob of the this is my boy! Kind of Mob of the Dead Cold War Mechanics chat! Forever. No longer was it Let's just a mode Let's to see just it, shoot dude. zombies and see how long you can I go. Need to this see is that. the first map that really, really infused story with game. Chad, this, I always say this map saved my life, dude. Has a saved my YouTube correlation channel. with the story. If you want to get to pack a punch, you have to build the plane and escape the prison. The entire atmosphere of Mob the crazy. Dead almost feels like hell on earth. You can really feel how the mobsters were feeling while you're playing the map. As you can kind of see that they're stuck. That sounds like an IGN cycle. review. Mob was also say. filled to the really brim with little the features Spider -Man from feels. the Golden Spork to the Hell's Retriever and Redeemer to one of the more iconic yeah, Wonder iconic weapons in the Wonder Gat, as well. it's That's how you know it makes a good map. There's just iconic always something more strings. than you could be doing on Mob of the Dead. And this would exactly. remain a common theme in Zombies, especially in all the Jason Blundell maps I mean, from this point on. But before we get to the peak of the Jason Blundell era, we actually had one more Jimmy Zelinsky directed map. This was the final map Bar of the Vicious Trilogy, Barry. Barry. And Barry. it was without Barry. a doubt the Barry. best map of Barry. that Barry. Vicious Trilogy. Buried is a Barry western shot. town buried underground Barry in Africa. Fire. I mean, it's a very cool, interesting concept. You got your side ally, Leroy, that you can take around the Chad, map. Chad, does anyone do, here like, hate Barry? I don't think I've met someone that hates Barry. There is just a ton One of the chat you hate Barry. Mark II was introduced on this map. There's if you do, I'm like curious. The Paralyzer. There's a new perk called Buried Vulture's in Africa? Aid that's yeah. actually really good, unlike really? the other perks Buried that were introduced here? in Black Ops 2. Wow. Unfortunately, though, all of I'm these shocked. things together does make the map a little bit too easy. But if you're the type of person that likes a too casual easy, what are you, Chaos Exiler? But doesn't necessarily want to play on like a small like map. Like, I find that, it so funny that everyone's like, yeah, this map's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. That I, nobody can get to round 100 on Buried it. Buried is probably the perfect map for It you. ain't that but easy. Honestly, it was probably the perfect map for Jimmy Zelensky. That's such a common thing retire. I hear always. It was the perfect final chapter in the Kinda book hate the of Easter Jimmy Zelensky's Zombies maps. 
the final map of Black Ops I mean, the Easter 2 egg was whatever. Origins. It brought back this my boy. characters, but now they were younger versions of Chop BL2 or BL3 Origins. I gotta say, I like BL2 the most. That everything you do is to Shout out to the homie BL2. a central goal. It's a very focused map. BL3 and everything looks you do a little better, but I like BL2. Your goal is to save Samantha Maxis, and to do that, you need to build the four wonder weapons. The guns are just so much more iconic on BL2. And you need to save her Ooh, from a Grace. There's absolutely no shortage of features Ooh, on Origins. Play. Like I said, the four elemental staffs, the G yeah, strike, Origins the off. elemental fists. There's just literally a ton. It's like, crazy it's, it's, that it's nothing is to top Origins. Just you know, how much more I always there was think about to do that. on Origins than the maps before it. Origins I always really think how set crazy the standard for how zombies would play out for the next several years. Because from this point on, if we didn't have all of these features, if the zombies community wasn't satisfied with the amount of content, because we knew we could get something crazy like Origins. So from that point on, we started to expect it. We started exactly. to expect there to be a ton of and things to do. And then that is the where map. the downfall happened. if we didn't get happened, that, then dude. we were not satisfied. Some yeah, people dude. love Origins for that, and some people hate it. If you were more of a fan of the classic oh, simpler chat. zombies... Who's a classic zombies fan Origins, rather than an Origins probably zombies absolutely I'm a bit of both. Origins. I'm a bit of both. But if you're which somebody is why who I like was Cold looking War. for a change of zombies but and wanted to see it expand into this, bigger, I don't know, man. I like mode, both. Then it's impossible for you to ignore how anybody great like classic the map style origins was. And it probably I know some is people still are, one of, I if not your very B01. favorite map to this day. All of the themes of Origins of would like carry that, on into Black Ops 3 Zombies. The game launched with two fine. zombies maps. The one of which was Shadows of I Evil, mean, just look which would really show the direction that Treyarch wanted to take the game mode, and the other of which. Was the does a look more better classic than style zombies say. map that was actually a remake of Darius. The Giant offered pretty much nothing gameplay wise that we haven't already seen, but it did have a lot it of was story so implications. Needed for BL3 but Shadows of Evil of Shadows. was really where the innovations took place. Shout out Shadows, Shadows of Evil takes place in this map Nord is just City, crazy, and it takes bro. place during the Prohibition era, but it can't the be that simple. Gameplay. It's not just a city. The map also takes clear inspiration from Cthulhu and other Lovecraftian entities. I would say that the layout of Shadows of Evil is just about as perfect as a layout as you can get. The I map mean, is yeah, huge, but at no point do you ever feel like you're too far away from any other part of the map. That's because Chat, is Shadows the most beautiful zombies map in terms of just detail? And has anything able Because there is to, has a anything been able to talk I, I don't works think so. Really, fine. really well. I just where don't you think can essentially so. teleport to underground from three different teleporters above. This is sort of similar to the Origins Crazy Place, but in this Case, there's actually a staircase that leads above ground. To, there's also a train system I'm to let you to move cry. around the map. Like, there's a ton of ways to navigate. And I haven't even mentioned Gobblegums like anywhere but here. And Gobblegums are a new innovation. I Black miss Gobblegums. They're essentially so much, like that. modifiers that tie to I your miss account. them so People bad. have gone back and forth for years on whether Gobblegums were a good idea or not. They were. I think that the idea they of were Gobblegums such a good idea. really, really good. I just wish I there miss was more of a system in place to actually earn Liquid Divinium. Rather than, you know, there being one challenge per day, I'd much rather there be I like really a whole system where you chat, get more One in the chat if you love Gobblegums. Because if you don't know the, the chat system for it. actually earning it is you I'm a can't wonder. get a Liquid Divinium I until like round so seven. Much, and then dude. from that point on, I want it's like to come based back off the, the amount of purchases so you make. It's super weird and arbitrary. And I don't so know if good. anybody necessarily understands it 100%. But if there was an actual method for getting it, let's say like every 1,000 They just added so much more fun aspects Or something along those lines every five rounds you progress That's something you get I a love about that would have been a much better way to do gobble gums and from that point on i probably would have had no complaints about the system i made it clear throughout my videos that shadows of evil is my favorite zombies map of all time i don't think i need oh, to go yeah. into all of the oh, reasons yeah, again but just know i'm absolutely biased towards this map like i i, I really do love shadows of evil the first dlc for black ops 3 was Dries i mean and dude dry and rock often gets D talked about as being the best zombies was map just of all time. so crazy it some for clear so inspiration from Origins in bringing the Such four elemental wonder weapons and D putting now. it onto a new game. This time we the bows are MSD. a little bit easier to acquire. There's a lot less setup you have to yeah, do. Yeah, this before was the you map that had the bows. Dry more together, than any of the other sure. maps really does take the Origins formula and just simplify it down just a little bit. Absolutely. This map is a very story yes, focused sir. map. 
Leading into Derizendrog, we still didn't know if we could trust this new version of Richtofen or not. And we didn't know necessarily where the story was going. Like, we didn't know yet that we had to kill the other versions of the characters. Dude, People took guesses, but nobody right actually knew for sure. So to see Dr. Groff slowly lose trust in Richtofen as the map progressed, we learned more about this new premise crew than we had on any map before and probably any map after. The I theme mean, of going spinning. to kill the old versions of the characters would continue continue for the rest of Black Ops 3. And the first of which that we have to kill is Takio in Zetsubo no Shima. Zet is a very creepy, I love eerie, Zet, dude. sort of somber I map. Zet's There's a lot such of cool weaponry in Zetsubo no Shima. Whether it's, it's some of the Black Ops 3 bro. DLC guns Zetsubo. that weren't on the other Good zombies map. maps that only made an appearance on Zetsubo, Zetsubo kind of making the map for stand sure, out. Or of course, the Wonder Weapon, the KT-4, which is like a younger brother to the Sliquifier from earlier. Or the Skull of Nansapwe, which is one of the Chat, I really special. wish there was just more like jungle maps and COD zombies. I love that. Dude. The weapons that we've ever like, had. Shang, this move really Zetsubo. does give you a lot to kind of push yourself love through. That type Zet of has two unique boss fights, neither of which is difficult I in the slightest, but they're both very agree. unique. The first of which versus a giant spider in a literal spider cave. This map really made you feel like Widow's you were on an adventure. And the second, of course, and was against something I am himself in respect, an abandoned underground you know? area of the map. Also, they're the really side just on Zetsubo are insane, the creepiness dude. of Zetsubo no Shima. They are insane. The third DLC was Garad Krovi, which is just a badass map in the sense of the word. This map takes That's place in Stalingrad. I mean, there's dragons, there's giant Valkyrie drones, there's just a ton of stuff happening on it's this my map. Boy right there. Kofi had the third iteration of the ray gun, the ray gun mark three, which personally is probably my favorite ray gun. Like it's, it's really cool. And the map also featured one of Overused the hardest on Easter custom eggs maps in zombie so history, for sure. where you have to so basically make your way the through six three. challenges, a lot of which can be very difficult if you don't know the optimal strat, if you haven't played the map over and over again. And then of course over, the Easter egg over, ends with over, a two part over, boss over. fight, once versus a giant dragon and the second versus Nikolai himself which is just an yeah, epic man. epic GK, boss fight it's very cool we'll it was the perfect way map, to end probably. this map for me we'll so black ops 3 it. was kind of all building up we killed and off the four too, original man. characters and it was all building up to this giant I, I fight like versus Rev. the shadow man himself Definitely and that of course to took place on revelations for years before revelations people were asking for it's got to be the like easiest map to load up, of dude. all the it's different really zombie not maps morphed into one give us the old wonder weapons give us the old maps Put it all together and yes, just make it sir. work. And, yes, and I think sir. Treyarch really executed with that. People often say that Revelations wasn't good because it wasn't innovative or that it didn't have too many new features. But I think there's something really and beautiful chat, in being able to. We're about to go into nine, dude, or Voyage is like, next. Put all of those maps and next. make the map layout work oh, and no. play like its own standalone oh, no, zombies chat. map that feels smooth is the innovation the in itself. Revelations also gets made fun of for, you know, having the dreaded final the rock stuff and and sure that was hilarious yeah. at the time to watch youtubers struggle Find for like what seemed OG like a, an entire week trying to figure Where's out this easter egg in all honesty now. i'm completely okay with it looking back these complicated easter egg steps that you know sure it feels like you're trying to find a needle Ooh, in a haystack but i think the journey in trying maybe? to figure it out is a ton of fun and it's a lot of fun to watch as somebody who's just a viewer from the outside looking in the culmination of the True, Black Ops 3 dude. story Rev basically was the ended biggest with Dr. Mani setting the main four the characters back to and the he Great War not lying and completing there. the time loop. Rev was Essentially a making everything watch. we just did completely pointless, which was kind of an anticlimactic ending and I a mean, little bit disappointing. I remember at the time, people really thought BL3 that there was like an Super alternate Easter ending yeah. to Revelations. It sucks that IW that still has the best one. The game was very, very good, especially for its time. And it still looks beautiful to this day. Like that style of video game that yep. almost cartoony one of the looking best aspect looking of black ops still. 3 and more specifically black ops 3 zombies just ages so well a map I like agree. revelations looks better than a lot of the zombies maps of the past you know year or two literally and looks I think better than vanguard looks better than cold, better than cold and, and war color, just because and cold war is too many details everything just looks so good so black ops 3 ended in like three good years past and then of course they announced the black ops 4 because you can never have too many that's black my ops boy nine and it was at this point in the series that treyarch had so much Woo! money to work on the zombies mode. 
they had more resources to put into this zombies mode than that's true any that's other what makes it before. so sad and as the too. lead up to black ops 4 was about to happen it was confirmed that there was going to be four zombies maps on launch and this had like the entire zombies community just ecstatic unfortunately we though crazy. i don't think the launch of black ops 4 could have gone any worse there is a ton I mean, of glitches true. on launch from blue screens to easter egg steps not working the do you game remember was the black ops 4 hat that this was so probably like at least a month after the I game do. came out you know, if not a little more. and that in my mind was the central reason for the game's demise the yeah. game launched with two separate stories the ether story Chat, what is your favorite black ops 4 map that's which a was a question. continuation what is your favorite of the BO4 story map? from old with Rick I love and the crew and we would see maps. where their story Some kind maps of ended up. And the other was a new story called Chaos. The two Chaos maps were called Voyage of Despair and Nine, each viewed very differently. Nine, I would say, was a lot more well-received on launch, although it, like the other maps on launch, received criticism for just how complicated the Easter egg was, as well as the really? excessive amount of side boss zombies. Did Nine time. get a lot of hate for the Easter egg? I thought it was the best zombies map of all time. time. When announced, a map on the Titanic Voyages sounded Easter like a fantastic just... idea, but let's just they say it did not meet the, the two community's years, expectations Holy, whatsoever. The crazy. map layout was overly complicated the easter egg was overly complicated there was too many side bosses making things overly complicated and for the first time in zombies history the consensus of the community Dude, was just look at this gameplay man make things simpler the ether maps weren't so necessarily agitating. perceived any better blood of the dead is the single oh, tiger's free patch easter egg of all time having players jump through hoops by completing Omega challenge Wall, after Omega challenge. And the Easter egg community tried for days to try to unlock the classified ending. But unfortunately, it was locked behind a round. Chat, honestly, after 9 and Voyage was solved, and then we were trying to solve Blood and Classified, were some of the most stressful weeks of my entire life. And then when I look back at it, I was so which stressed. Which I personally think is a decent idea. It I was think 150 awful, is a little bro. bit too high to lock the ending oh, to. It was but still, so The awful. problem was is that the game at launch, it just literally wasn't possible to get to round 50 because your game would just crash. Black Ops 4 Zombies at launch yeah, was literally was just grim. a crash fiesta. And look was around 150 in my opinion, and i know this is yeah, i gotta go back and do it again there's so many little zombie map things that have pretty to go much back just one to one so. worse than the dlc maps it's almost like they save the better maps for later on assuming that the launch would be good and it just wasn't the first dlc I was mean, dead of the night spitting. and i don't know if the zombies budget was completely depleted by this point but there was absolutely no marketing for dead of the night dead we of the literally night just woke up was one morning. such a good map though it just sucks that yeah the marketing was literally not there like, the marketing that there was for Terra Maledicta was about the same as there was for Dead of the Night. ...and a map drop. I don't even think there was a trailer, like, a day in advance. It was really bad. But fortunately, the map was actually really good. The common YouTube criticism at the time was that Dead of the Night was overly complicated, like the launch maps, but in reality, it wasn't. In reality, the only things to build are it's the just shield you gotta and the watch silver some bullets, tutorials. and the Easter egg is relatively simple as well. The, the free wonder weapon is literally just it's enter a, a code lot. into the wall. Honestly, the yeah. vibe and aesthetic of Dead of the Night alone carries it to be one of the best zombies maps at least of that era it's, and dead of the night goes probably down one of in my, my favorite top 10 zombies maps. maps of all time and what's crazy is as good as dead of the night was they actually outdid themselves with the next dlc which was ancient evil a map shout out to ancient, ancient evil Greece, good map too a lot of the content in the good map, map is too. very clearly inspired by greek mythology there's four new it elemental sucks wonder that, weapons like, that are the completely different to the old staffs and the bows still just while the bows good. i feel like took a little bit too much inspiration from the staffs in the sense that they were actually very similar the four gauntlets are completely unique the ancient evil easter egg is one of my favorite easter eggs of all time each individual step is very Just tied to the lore step. of the map but and it ends with a very that, cool boss yeah, fight boss against pegasus and easy. perseus themselves ancient evil is good by map, this man. point in black very Ops underrated Ops 4, that sure. the community was actually still left on map. the game which to be fair wasn't that much there almost universally preferred the chaos story over the old ether story i agree the maps were more innovative it felt less yeah. dragged out by this point yeah and it was clear that the direction of the ether story at least for black ops 4 was F's in the chat for chaos story boys maps. the next map was alpha omega one of the Nuke worst Town maps Union. ever i will say that there was a lot no. of hype for alpha omega i hate like definitely alpha more omega. than any of the other dlc yeah which is so weird unfortunately dude. though at least for me and i think a lot of the community did the map didn't like deliver on all the hype it was essentially what just the Nuketown layout dude. with the underground that was ported over from Blackout. I would assume 
assume that they actually developed the layout for Alpha Omega before they put it into Blackout, but it released first on Blackout, so oh, it kind of feels I like they know. just copied it over. I hate and it. there's I hate not it. really I a ton it. to do on the map itself. The one bright spot, however, about like Alpha Omega map. is the Raygun Mark II upgrades. They gave us four upgrades. They for are them, pretty four cool. different elemental upgrades, and that's definitely really cool. However, I feel like less than 5% of the zombies community could actually tell you how to upgrade these four. Like, nobody knows how to do it because nobody cares. Like, nobody played the map. Chat, I literally could not four. tell you. I literally don't know how to do any of the upgrades. This Easter egg, I literally had to play with the Dawn back then. So, like, holy shit, that was crazy. Like, this shit took forever to do. Did like, and on a high note, I it know wasn't nothing remake, about but this Alpha time Omega, of the beloved Call of the Dead. I, think but I love Tog, was a though. really good change. I really like Tog. Four. There wasn't an overload Tog was of probably different mini one of my, bosses. One of my pretty much favorite just maps, zombies that's I like Tog. The Easter egg is very chill and relaxed, and I honestly just enjoy just sitting Chat, any Tog enjoy is there? One in the chat if you enjoy it. a difficult Easter egg. I like Tog, man. Tog was not Which was very contrary to the rest of Black Ops 4. I only played Tog twice. I personally did not love the wonder to, weapons on this map to the two wonder map, weapons are the it's sniper just a better and the call thunder gun dead. remakes of like the it. classic wonder weapons both of which are I just actually worse the than the originals tog, yeah, though so it kind of just feels I, like I why would like i use tog. this in all the ether maps before tag i would say the remake of the wonder weapon actually improved it but on tag they feel like they make it worse. oh the wonder weapon ends with though, the very tog, final though. culmination yeah that's one of my least favorite parts which is a little bit anticlimactic as somebody who likes the story but doesn't know every reaction to Tog, it. Yeah. it feels like there could have been a solution like, people are expecting so much more killing them which was the problem the i feel like when you're writing a story there always has to be a better solution than that there had to have been some way to wrap it up in a slightly better way overall yeah, i would absolutely. say black ops 4 was a failure and the community yeah, really was I at an all-time low in the follow-up to black ops 4 the yeah, question dude. in the community's mind oh, was no bro, longer chat. what maps would we i see feel like future, we're in a the... way lower point than black ops 4 them w with what we're seeing now with like vanguard and stuff like question oh was God. would it's we like even a, see zombies in the visible unfortunately two years later black ops cold war was announced cold war is fire though man the i do miss the cold war season this point that was when was the zombies community felt like very alive more complicated than one in the chat if you miss cold war, war like that i would be fine with more cold right war type shit this game i've already go gone out and said that it and make vanguard is just not understand for somebody that wasn't necessarily like a zombies fanatic it did this like by Cold pretty War much getting map. rid of buildables. I know there are some buildables, but for the most part, it just you can sucks play a map that the maps were kind of needing to build anything. Not that or if you do need to build something, you could just walk up to the bench, like nothing some too too memorable. Build it. Other this than like means Mauer that they removed and... the zombie shield and replaced it with the armor like, system, Firebase, which is a lot easier to understand for somebody who's just jumping into a game of zombies. For Even acquiring was pretty good too, the though. wonder weapons in Cold War is a lot easier and simpler to do than it was in older games. Cold War also features there is the no return soul. of the There's classic just no originality with the this maps. This time, though, That's they one actually thing I really had dislike. tears to them. And they actually saved your account like, I on wish, the menu dude, you could upgrade. How has there not been an actual five. water bar with three map tiers and by the end in Call five. of Duty? The new story like of Cold the one War that would be the Dark Ether story. Doesn't make any and sense. And its first map takes place in an abandoned Nazi research Demon facility. Machine was fire, though. I love Demon Machine. It was so much fun. I think it was the perfect map for Cold War to launch. I agree. Its wide open areas make it very pleasant. It was friendly, a great launch and its map. Easter egg is relatively simple, especially in comparison to the likes of Black Ops 4. The next map to release would be Firebase Z, which was very similar to D Machine in a chat, lot of ways. Okay, again, one of the chat if you like Firebase Z, two in the chat if you don't. I think I have to say it's at two another years. research facility. I am it's a, a very tour. straightforward, simple map. I don't Firebase know why Z I dislike also Firebase the fourth Z. Iteration of I think I just dislike the Ray K, which was very that. similar to the Ray, the Ray K. I also don't like. It's almost like a reskin, but it but it feels unique enough. It's a good map. It definitely but like stands there's just, out and I don't like the enemies new. and the. I would say that the main think, skill of zombies kind of changed with Cold War. Cold War is no longer about this game like of it's trying a good to use map, your movement to keep away from the zombies. Like Rather, it was that. about dealing with the different zombie again, types agree, as you try to progress through higher rounds. Like you can get trapped in a corner in Cold War. It and was the one fun. zombies map but if at that any actually point you have too many like mimics or map, too many though. Russian manglers just lurking around. You could see yourself die exceptionally quickly. Exactly. There's a very very long exactly. time between Firebase Z and Mao 
order. And the order was bad. Yeah, I agree. Match. Just that the is enemies course, are coming Because in between the two, oh, he includes the outbreak. Thing to ever outbreak. Come outbreak is the no. giant open world zombies. Chat. I mean, looking you, back now, outbreak is way better than any of the shit that they're doing in Vanguard. Period. Despite outbreak still having a ton of flaws, right? So, okay, chat. One or two for outbreak. Basically, fight through objectives to. I have to rounds. say, and in my I mind, this is Treyarch trying I'm to turn wonder, zombies into something different. I'm a wonder, but I didn't play different. a lot. Of I it. personally think that Treyarch, with Cold War as a whole, was trying to lean zombies off of. That's rounds. my thing. I but think I did they like take it way more than Duran Fall. Way more than Duran Fall. Cold War was their way of, way of kind better of than weaning Durampong. people By off. Outbreak is kind of marketed as this open world. Like I would have rather had a year two of Outbreak content. Then Call of Duty Vanguard, 110%. I would have been way more happy with that than what Where we got Where you can kind of Vanguard. explore and do anything you want. But if you actually do just end they up don't even have to you make can get very boring like very quickly. Maps. I think the it's idea just of do an shit open world zombies outbreak. experience is a just good idea. Anything but, but I Vanguard. I feel like there needs to be a ton anything of Anything but Vanguard, There needs to be a ton please. of little side missions. Like I'm talking like every square inch of the map needs to be like... This is a problem though, chat. Like look at this gameplay. Like this is the one thing I hate about Outbreak. It's just on YouTube, it looks so ass. Like, look how pixelated everything looks. In the gameplay, when you're playing, it looks good. But for some reason, this game mode on YouTube just looks terrible. Filled with stuff to do. And that's just not what the Outbreak mode is. The main pieces of content in Outbreak I, are the that's two one thing separate I Easter eggs. This. But unfortunately, most of the time you're doing that, you end up just driving There's around. There's way too many I'm not many somebody particles. who plays yeah. games where you just drive around Well, like, just look at all the foliage the on the screen, right? So I don't necessarily want that in Zombie. Like, Am I going to disagree with it you just if looks that's something terrible, you like? Absolutely not. You know? But for me, it just doesn't quite work out. The next round-based map would be Mauer to Toten. Shout out to Mauer. Great map. Breath of fresh air for Cold War. And Best without Cold Mauer War map, I think I would view Cold War a lot more negatively. I, agree I really do like this map. I really like the too. Wonder Weapon. I love Mauer the kind of I think it Cold ends War. with a really cool boss fight. There's a lot to love on this map. Although yeah. it does take place Great in Wonder Berlin, Weapon. which is kind of like Great a boss fight. place for zombies at this point. I think Fun high rounds. it's actually very good. I think I've probably it played more one of my favorite than, launch than experiences all of the other sure. Cold War maps combined at this yeah, point. Man. Cold War ended with Forsaken, which was an interesting choice, but I've always felt like the map Enjoy out of as much as was Mauer, really, though. really held back by the amount of teleporters that it has. It almost feels like the areas of the map weren't actually yeah. supposed to go together. So they just kind of put teleporters around the map to kind of duct tape them together. It does have a really interesting spawn room and some very interesting. The idea of the map is pretty it cool. I do like the what idea. It is a very, very cool um, boss fight. It's not necessarily I just wish that they could difficult, do but it's very cool. Of course, that's against the Forsaken himself. And this is where we see the ending. The boss of the is pretty Cold cool. Story. I can't lie. Of course, the boss final reveal cool. is something that had been predicted for like months before in that the director is the de course. machine was the Overall, rudest thing Cold ever <laughs> things that i really do like yeah, but it definitely DE does machine, make me concerned LOL, about bro. the future for call of duty zombies like they clearly want zombies to be this more objective style game and we can see this right away in vanguard zombies oh. that treyarch was kind of tasked with making oh get this off my screen sort of last second unfortunately this terra maledicta for life baby for most people like it's okay to play as like a side mode but i will never play this game ever again chat like it wasn't i don't know mode. what duran like fong is i don't black know what terra maledicta is zombies, cover your eyes shot this is sacrilege mode, it felt like its own game and this i'm concerned that the future of zombies is treyarch being forced to kind of make it just a side mode let me know what you guys think thank you so much l activision take this l that's every time what i feel about it dude chat we're on the come up dude we're on the come up. Once Vanguard is done, there's going to be some...